What's going on Adventure Fam? Welcome back to the channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I don't know what time it is where you're at. We are in Glendale, Arizona. It is a beautiful day. The fall is churning. It's a beautiful uh, day in the neighborhood and uh, look, I, I can't wait for this fall weather to start coming in full force and in full effect. We've got nicer temperatures right about now, but a uh, couple more weeks and uh, we're going to be in pure heaven. And uh, it's going to be the time of year and the season in which everybody loves to come to Arizona. The summer is one thing. Everybody knows it's hot. Everybody knows that we sweat. Everybody knows that it's like living in an oven here in the summer. But around the fall time, we get from about the end of October to about March. It is just absolutely gorgeous going into April as well, a little bit before it gets too hot. So no place I'd rather be in terms of weather uh, than here uh, during this time of year. So hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm doing well. Sarah's away on a business trip right now. She, it's the first time she's traveled uh, for business. And uh, look, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm a little, I'm a, I'm a little, you know, sad and heartbroken, and I'm a little lonely, and uh, it's just that it's never happened. We we never travel for work. Um, we just, I, you know, outside of you know actually traveling, like to go to travel, but that's not really our day jobs, and so we don't really travel for our day jobs. And so she had a special project that she had to go out there for, um, and uh, so they're out in California right now. She just texted me saying she landed, so. Uh, it's only about an hour and 20 minute flight from where we live, but still it's uh so I'm single dad in it for the next You know night and a half or two nights I should say not two full nights. She comes back tomorrow. So it's a very short trip, but still um, We've never done this before. It's our first time doing it. So hopefully pray for me. Hope I survive I'll let you know kind of how it all goes uh, but uh, yeah, let's jump into the story for today We've all been to Disney, or a lot of us have been to Disney, and uh, we've all heard of the Disney Cruise Line. We've never personally taken a Disney cruise. Um, you know, we've always looked at the Disney cruises. They've just been, you know, the cost of these Disney cruises is, um, it's quite high. Um, so much higher than, say, uh, going on a Royal or, a, you know, a Carnival NCL, anything like that. So we've looked at it, we've contemplated it, um, we've just never pulled the trigger um, on a Carnival cruise. That, that's the kind of day I'm having, people, okay? Forgive me. We've never pulled the trigger on a Disney cruise, and, uh, you know, we got three teenagers, um, and we've got Adeline, who's four, so I think Adeline would be, um, obviously, the demographic in our household that would enjoy it the most. Um, it's just been a hard pill to swallow. Even though they have a, a ship that leaves out of Los Angeles, um, we've just never done it. So Disney's currently got five ships in the fleet. They've got the Disney Dream, the Wish, the Wonder, the fantasy and the magic in their fleet and they are getting ready to add a sixth ship I'll tell you about in a second uh, but on that sixth ship Disney has just announced that they are going to have an original Broadway style show um, based off of the movie Moana so for all of you Moana fans uh, if you got kids that love Moana um, you know stay tuned for more information on that because they are bringing an original Broadway themed um, show uh, after the movie Moana onto this new uh, ship. Now this new ship is called the Disney Treasure. So if you don't know about the Disney Treasure, let me tell you a little bit about it first. So the Disney Treasure is going to be Disney's new ship, which is gonna debut in December of 2024. So the Disney Treasure will share much of the same footprint as the Disney Wish, except for how the Disney Wish has much more of an enchantment or fairy tale feeling to it. Um, it is said to be that the Disney Treasure will have more of a mysterious adventure um, to it. But uh, the theming is going to be a little bit different. Now, but the footprint is going to be similar to that of the Disney Wish. Now, based on the renderings, it looks like the Disney Treasure is going to feature a grand hall that leans into a deep palette of blue, turquoise, gold. Uh, looks like there's going to be a design inspired by gilded palaces from faraway places such as Asia and Africa, including the fictitious city of Agrabah from Disney's Aladdin. Now, the statue in the Grand Hall is also going to feature Jasmine, Aladdin, and the magic carpet ready to go on an adventure, which is the theme of this next ship. And Captain Minnie will also wear a special adventure-seeking outfit while on board the Disney Treasure. Now it looks like on the stern there's also going to be a duo of adventurous souls such as Peter Pan and Captain Hook. 
um, as they sail along wherever the Disney treasure is going to take them. So it's going to have about 1,256 cabins, ranging from interior all the way up to the two-story fun family suite kind of uh, rooms that are going to probably cost you an extra mortgage to afford. However, they are going to be an option. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be similar to those Royal Caribbean family suites you see on the um, Oasis class ships, but uh, it does look like they're going to have a two-story family suite on board the Disney treasure as well. So Disney being Disney, you can expect themed cabins. And what I mean by that is the interior, the veranda, and the ocean view rooms uh, look like they're going to be themed after movies such as Aladdin, Pocahontas, Up, Luca, um, Finding Nemo. And so those are going to be the interior, the veranda, and the ocean view rooms. The concierge suites will be themed a little bit differently. So the concierge suites on board the Disney Treasure will pay homage to the Lion King, while the Royal Suites will pay homage to the Tigers in the Jungle Book and Aladdin. Now the signature suite on this ship will be the two-story Tomorrow Tower Suite. The Disney Wish introduced this concept of a nearly 2,000 square foot multi-room suite in the ship's faux funnel. While its tower suite was themed to Moana, Disney Treasures version will be inspired by Epcot and feature a futuristic design. The Tomorrow Tower Suite can sleep up to eight guests. So for a family like mine, the Tower Suite would work perfect. We got six people. Um, we always have to get two rooms when we go on a cruise with the kids because and, and it's hard sometimes to get the connecting rooms. And now that the kids are getting older, it's a little bit different. But we always try to get connecting rooms because it always makes you feel like your room's a little bit bigger too when you get connecting. So it looks like you know this room would be perfect for us. Sleeps up to eight. However, I'm sure this will be very cost prohibitive to a lot of people, including us. Um, but nonetheless, it looks like an amazing and a beautiful room. Um, I do like the fact that you can sleep up to eight people because a lot of times if you're taking um, uh, you know, a couple of families, maybe you split the room cost, things like that. But it does look like a beautiful and gorgeous suite to get. Now, of course, the Disney Treasure also has a bunch of good food and it's going to have a bunch of good sweets and a bunch of good eateries and a bunch of good fun entertainment on board. We will not cover that in this video. Perhaps I'll do another video on the entire Disney Treasure ship. But the Disney Treasure is the newest ship that is going out in the Disney fleet in December 2024. I will link a description uh, about the Disney Treasure down below in the description box if you want to check that out. Um, but Moana is going to be the feature Broadway show on this new Disney Treasure ship. Now the show itself is going to follow the journey of Moana just like the movie where she is chosen by the ocean to save her home island and uh, of Tafiti and to, to go on this heroine quest to save the island. So it's going to follow the same theming as the movie. Now fans of the feature film, if you're a fan of the movie, you're going to love seeing the extra characters such as Grandma Tala and uh, Maui. They're going to be on there as well as the original soundtrack. So it does look like it's going to be almost like a live action Moana on stage uh, in a Broadway type of show setting. So I imagine it's going to be a pretty good production. Disney usually does pretty good with that. Um, so I don't know if we'll ever get on the Disney treasure, but if you end up going on the Disney treasure, definitely let us know how it is uh, when it comes out in December 2024. Um, I hope we get to chance to sail on it but uh, not sure if we are going to uh, but it does look like Moana is just going to be a live action kind of following the same you know pathway as the movie itself and not kind of veering too much from the actual movie. They have not yet casted for these parts so they are getting ready to go and put on a casting hunt for all of the um, um, you know actors and the singers and everything else for the production um, so I'm sure it's going to be pretty popular amongst um, I'm not exactly sure how you get involved in um, you know being a dancer or singer or an actor or whatever on some of these productions on these cruise lines but I'm sure uh, that this is going to have a lot of interest I'm sure they're going to cast some pretty good people to play these parts um, and I imagine that it's going to be a pretty good show. But the Disney Treasure looks like it's going to be an amazing ship. It looks fantastic. Um, you know, I haven't been on any of them. Um, Sarah and I haven't just had the chance, like I said. So um, it's just been always cost prohibitive for us. So let us know if you've been on a Disney cruise ship. Let us know if you think it's worth it. Um, they always look so magical. We watch these YouTube videos on them all the time. Um, and we see them. And they're beautiful ships. Um, they are just, I imagine the magic for a little kid. Um, 
you know, such as Adeline, who's four, I'm sure it would be fantastic. Um, they always look like, uh, a, you know, a great time. But let us know down below if you've ever been on a Disney cruise ship. If you have, let me know. And let me know what you think about the Disney treasure coming up. Um, and, uh, you know, let us know if you think it's going to be a great ship. And let us know what you think about Moana. So... We love you guys. Um, we're going to bring some videos coming up this week. Um, the new Iron Man series is dropping, I believe, on Monday. So stay tuned for that. It's just been... I, I know I keep saying I'm going to drop the Iron Man series. It's just been... It's been hectic, let me just tell you. So finding time to kind of work in the editing for that and um, finding the time for between... You know, things that are changing at work, things that, you know, you know, here at the home life and the homestead. So I apologize. It's just been a, it's just been a whirlwind. So I promise you it will drop next Monday, the first episode of that. So stay tuned for that. We got some more giveaways coming up. So make sure you're staying tuned for that. Hey, we love you guys. Thanks for the support. Get us to 1k. We're at like seven. We're in the mid sevens right now. Get us to 1k. Um, we want to get to 1K, and uh, we got an announcement as well coming up uh, in the next day or two um, that uh, we're really excited about, and so stay tuned for that. But uh, we love you guys. Thanks for the support. Looking to get to 1K, and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And, uh, you know, love you guys, and uh, peace.